What's up people, so I landed in Thailand. I'm currently at Fitness First in Icon Siam. About to hit this lift. I wanted to show you all my first workout here in Thailand. So right now, we're about to jump into some incline dumbbell bench press. I was trying to see the conversion from kg to pounds, and right now we're rocking with 36 kg, which is just under 80 pounds. Ideally, I should be able to get around eight to 10 with this. So let's get it. First set going in. jet lag didn't get to me that bad. So from Chicago, it was like an 18 hour flight. I originally, I flew to Tokyo, had an 18 hour layover there, and then had another seven hour flight last night. Landed in Thailand around like 2 a.m. Got like four hours of sleep, and now we're here at the gym. Good thing is, this gym is super dope. There's like, even these benches, they have like the setting where it tells you what bench angle you're actually at. So I can confirm that this 30 degree bench angle is definitely the best bench angle for incline dumbbell bench. I think what I'm gonna do for today is I'm gonna keep it one set for everything just so I can try out various equipments in the gym. So let me move on to back real quick and then we'll hop back into another chest exercise. Let's get it. This place is pretty cool too. I haven't been back in Thailand for like five years at this point. It's actually crazy being back. It's like basically my first full day. Let's get into this mid back row. You know, I'm gonna do it both arms at the same time. Kind of speed up this workout. Here we go. Watch some music too. Don't worry, I'll let you know. I'll let y'all know what I'm listening to. Too heavy going bilaterally. Something I've been doing more since I'm trying to go higher intensity, lower reps, but sometimes it doesn't work if it's too heavy. So I'm actually gonna do another set. I'm gonna do a few more reps. We take all this time. Dude, these hands are kind of sharp, kind of my hand. But this cushion, it's actually really good. Like, I don't lose my breath at all laying up against this thing. I'm pretty sure the equipment here is at the tier at what you find at like an Equinox in America. But I'm pretty sure like a long-term membership is like half the price. If even that, I'm like, I probably should ask. Still warming up at this point. Ah. Ah. That's my warm up. I see a lot of y'all out there doing like 10 reps for a warm up. Even though the weight is lighter, you don't want to gas yourself out. Me personally, I keep my warm up reps down to like literally one to three reps. Starting with three when it's lighter and then slowly as I get closer to my working weight, then I tend to drop the weight a little bit. Oh, sorry, drop the reps a little bit. I like how they have, they max out at 20 kg plates. I don't like when there's a 25, it kind of messes me up. So I feel like I should put on a 25, but I don't. Also, not gonna lie, I think the handle's a little bit weird. It's kind of pivoted this way. So as you probably can understand when it's kind of pivoted here, it feels like I'm a little bit more internally rotated, right? Kind of like pressing like this, which is ideally not the best, right? So let's try getting it now. Oh, I do not like this machine at all. Let me actually move on to some sort of fly right now. I'm actually gonna do a mid-chest cable fly. So I set the cables up high. It's more stable 
if I lean down like this. Let me actually take off my bottom. Like always rocking the AYBL. Here we go. don't do one set for everything and just move on to a bunch of different equipment but I'm doing it for today because I kind of want to just try a lot of things around the gym so because of that I'm going a little bit heavier trying to train to failure but at like a somewhat lower rep range like under 10 reps I think I need to scale down a little bit I think the jet lag might actually be catching up so we're done with chest I move on to a vertical pull and then we move on arms and finish it let's go I wanted to show you guys the turf area but it was taken earlier so I'll probably mess around at the end or something like that. Also, let me know what you guys want to see me do in Thailand. Like if you guys are interested in like a full day of eating and stuff. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm, I'm actually Thai. So I have like somewhat of a better understanding than most people are in Thailand making YouTube videos. Maybe I'll go to a Chai Phi restaurant. Or maybe I can do like a full day of eating, how to get 150 grams of protein, whatever it is. Or maybe, or maybe y'all just want to see me like check out 7-Eleven or something like that. I'm down for that too. <laughs> Okay, so for these pull-ups, since I don't have a weighted belt, what I'm doing is like a very slow eccentric, so I don't have to do like way too many reps before I reach failure. So I'm only gonna be doing one set. Or maybe you know what, I might conserve and do some like one-arm pull-up work at the end of this. But yeah. In my opinion, this is how your pull-ups should look. You shouldn't be like half repping at the top, I don't think that would make sense. I'd rather just go slow controlled, send all the way down, and come back up. I think I'm gonna cap it there, just so I can actually do a one arm pull up at the end. But, as you can see, I'm kinda just having fun here. After that 60 day creatine challenge, I think I probably overextended myself, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit more chill as of now. So I guess you can kinda call this a deload. done a machine preacher curl in a while. See, the thing about machine preacher curl that I don't like is that generally it's gonna be more of a mid to short length focused exercise compared to a free weight preacher curl where it's gonna be more length and focused. And when it comes to the biceps, the biceps have the best leverage in this lower half of the range of motion. So the ideal bicep exercise should actually be an exercise where the hardest part is this lower half of the portion rather than up here, which a normal free weight preacher curl is perfect for that. But when you do a machine, the hardest part's definitely kind of up here, like, especially for this machine. Um, it's actually even like more higher than usual. Let's try moving on to a tricep exercise. There's not like cables here, so we can't really find many things, but let's see what I can, uh, let's see what I can figure out. Try out this new uh, tricep push down contraption. I don't think it's long enough to actually be like that good. But like trying out new equipment, see how it feels. <clears throat> That's my AirPod. Ah. Ooh. It looks cool, but like I thought, it's definitely not long enough. Get your arms back here would be a little better. All right, so I found the coolest, uh, supposed to be a mid-back machine. Basically kind of like a reverse fly. Let's see if I can make this as a uh, mid-back focus as possible. So I'm gonna raise the seat up. And sorry for the little line. Pretty sure my camera is definitely not broken, but I know some places lights tend to like glitch out a little bit. Okay, for this, kind of, yeah, I always preach avoid retracting your scapula.
Good machine. Techno Gym. That is the brand. Never heard of it. As you may know, if you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, all that, I'm gonna try and work on my one arm pull up. So, we got these nice little rings, which would be really perfect for a job. I've never done it at the end of a workout, but I didn't go too hard, so it should be possible. Whew. Got it. Do one. I always feel like a Neanderthal wearing the stringer. Especially when I have the mic attached. I need to get some sort of like necklace or some nip slips left and right. Let me try to see if I can do two in a row. Let's see. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Let's try my right. <laughs> I can only do one right now. I can only do one. If I can do three in a row, I think I'll be happy. I think I'll be very happy. But, all right, so, well, that was a workout. I hope y'all enjoyed. Fitness first. Maybe we can tour a bunch of different gyms around the area in Thailand, specifically in Bangkok. But I'm also gonna be in like Chiang Mai. I'm also gonna be in Singapore. Hopefully, I'm legally able to record in there. I'm a little bit, I have a little bit of concerns for that. I'll show y'all what's up in Thailand. After the workout, I had some Thai chicken rice, which is probably some of the cleanest Thai street food you can have out here. Now, perhaps more food videos to come while I'm out here in Thailand. So, like the video, hit subscribe to see more stuff like this, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.